Welcome back to another video. Today I am sharing some insights and lessons that I wish I knew when I first started in the field of cybersecurity and my journey into penetration testing. It's a journey that's filled with challenges, surprises, valuable lessons, and hopefully this video will help you navigate it a little bit more smoothly than I did. As cyber threats grow, so does the need for skilled professionals. TCM security certifications are here to elevate your skills to meet these challenges. Our courses are tailored to give you an edge with practical scenario-based exams. Step into the world of advanced cybersecurity at certifications.tcm-sec.com and make your mark. As always, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's dive in. So let's kick things off with the first thing I wish I knew, and that is hacking is hard and starting out is basically like drinking from a fire hose. But what this actually means is that a lot of the time you'll just have to accept the fact that you don't fully understand what's going on on every single level. And even later on, there will be things that just do what they do and all you need to do is focus on the things you can control and being methodical in your testing. So in a nutshell, we need to be okay or comfortable with ambiguity. Now, over time, as our knowledge on the fundamentals and also how specific technologies work improves, it'll become more clear and our critical thinking and ideas will also improve alongside this. So don't stress out too much about not fully grasping everything all at once and remember that it's a never-ending journey and to enjoy the wins that you have along the way. If you're doing a course or following a tutorial and not quite understanding something that's happening, it's likely going to click a little bit later on when some other piece of the puzzle falls into place. And I'm still waiting for this to happen with state management in React. It just feels so unnatural to me at the moment and I feel like I don't have a full grasp on how to make use of this functionality. But going back in time, for me personally, networking, system administration, PowerShell, etc, etc, has always been a weak point. And it wasn't until much later on when I started building things, setting up my own networks, deploying my own AD lab, that I started to get more comfortable with network penetration testing. So thinking to yourself that you don't know about this and that only really leads to imposter syndrome, but you just have to decide that it's not the be all and end all and to crack on with whatever task you have at hand. When you're working with engineers or clients, then I recommend you ask questions to clarify things rather than suffering in silence. And of course, over time, hands-on study is going to give you the best return on your time investment. Theory is essential, but cybersecurity is a field where practical skills are crucial and the skills gap in the industry is really an inexperience gap. And the only way to gain that experience is to build stuff and to do practical things. So set up a home lab, participate in CTFs, use training platforms and contribute to open source projects. It's not something that will happen overnight, but over time, you'll start to see patterns and connections between different concepts, making it easier to understand and apply what you've learned. So next up, let's talk about something that sounds a little bit dumb, but I really think it's true. And that is being a good hacker is fundamentally nothing to do with hacking. So this sounds counterintuitive, but hear me out for a second. The technical skills are important, of course, but what really sets apart good cybersecurity professionals are skills like critical thinking, problem solving, understanding technology, and effective communication. The actual payloads and attacks themselves are generally the easy bit once you understand and how something works. And honestly, I think that hacking is just troubleshooting with a slightly different goal in mind. For example, when pen testing, you might be trying to exploit a vulnerability within a web application, and the initial step of finding the vulnerability might be fairly straightforward, just using payloads from a list. However, what makes pen testers different from scanners is their ability to think critically about the broader context. Why does this vulnerability exist in the first place? Is there a systemic issue in how the application handles user inputs? What is the actual impact, and how can I demonstrate this in my proof of concept? This is kind of like second order thinking that I covered in another video, but by thinking more deeply, you might uncover a series of related vulnerabilities stemming from the same root cause, allowing you to provide more comprehensive remediation advice to the development team or a much larger payout if you're doing bug bounty. 
So now let's talk about something a little bit more positive, and that is hacking gets more fun over time. When you're starting out, it can feel a little bit like a never ending uphill battle and there's so much to learn and it's easy to get frustrated. In fact, it's easy to get frustrated anytime, but stick with it nonetheless, because the more you learn and the more experience that you gain, the more enjoyable the whole process becomes. And eventually you'll find a lot of reward in solving complex problems. And it's not just about the technical challenges, the cybersecurity community is incredibly supportive, collaborative, and a really creative community too. Whether it's at conferences or meetups or Discord, there are opportunities to connect with like-minded people, share knowledge, and learn from others. I read a LinkedIn post once that said something along the lines of very few communities are so dedicated to self-improvement, learning, and sharing, and you should make the most of that. I have hobbies outside of work, like snowboarding for example, but when I think back over the last 10 years of my life, the best memories I have are with people from the world of cybersecurity. Moving on from a positive to a less positive note, and one thing that I wish I'd been more prepared for is the fact that a lot of people hate you for no real reason. Cybersecurity professionals, especially pen testers, often face skepticism and hostility from others. We're often seen as blockers or only brought in because of regulations. So I think that it's important to try and develop a little bit of a thick skin and not to take things personally, as most of the time, no one else's agenda is even remotely aligned to our agenda. So if you can, Building good relationships with your colleagues and clients is definitely something that can't be understated. And this is the same for a lot of IT professionals and not just security people. In particular, trying to be less salty, especially in tickets, is really, really important. I've seen Jira tickets escalate to full-on confrontations in the office, and it's not useful or productive. Finally, let's talk about certifications. And when you're starting out, it can feel like everyone is obsessed with certifications and they are useful, but don't get caught up on the social media of I passed this the first time or how to get this certification in two hours and three minutes. Once we clear a certification, the only thing we're left with are the skills that we built along the way. And yeah, that piece of paper might help you land an interview, but you still need to clear the interview and demonstrate your skills and knowledge. I've interviewed people in the past with so many certifications that their CV looks like a glossary of terms and it turned out that they knew nothing about anything really. And then I've had others with none or just one and completely blown me away with their impressive depth of knowledge and passion for cybersecurity. So my advice here is that yeah, if you can try and get at least one certification because it will help you land a job, but never let go of learning and remember that there is no certification certification leaderboard. And that's it for this video. I hope it helps you worry less about some of the things that we have to go through in our cybersecurity journeys. And remember that really it's just like everything else, put the work into the right areas and you will be successful. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to drop into our Discord community or live streams anytime. Catch you next time.